talking fishing, talking fishing, nothing but fishing, talking fishing. Catch of the week. You get to see yourself on TV. Now, I mentioned in the opener what a week it's been for Mulloway. They're going to dominate in Catch of the Week this week. And boys, I can't remember um, a week like this before. No. This is Mulloway Week. Mulloway. It's a bit like Show Week, Grand Final yeah, Week. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. It's been Mulloway, Mulloway Week, week. In, uh, all in Western Port. And yep. it's just been nothing short of sensational. Let's kick it off with the king of Mulloway, <laughs> Warren <laughs> Carter. Have a Ooh. look at the size of that. <laughs> Look at that. That is a monster. That's amazing. Now, that was out with Sean Ferdier on Think Big. Yep. And uh, two masters of it. And that that's trophy. Trophy so, stuff, isn't it? What was it? that? 30, 31 kilos of Something Western like Port Mulloway? Yeah, yeah. That's insane. Look at that. Yep. That is. You'd yeah. even be happy with that, catching one of those you know, up, up north off a reef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, Charlie, I don't know they've yeah. much bigger than nah, that. No, that's yeah. quality. You know, that, that is good. So yeah, yeah. followed up really by his good. partner in crime in that very well-known DVD, um, Brendan Wing went out and he had a crack and tell you what, thank I you know. very much. That's well, a cracker of a fish as well. I'm, I'm pretty sure Brendan was flying solo that night. He was flying night. solo. And um, <laughs> wow. yeah, because that one, it's... I didn't see a weight on it. Yeah, yeah um, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to say track. just in case. I don't no. know. Yeah. It would have to be 20s. If you weren't watching the show... You probably wouldn't know if those fish are out there. You know, no. Real fish no. Are. You just no. wouldn't know. They're people know. Many people wouldn't even know they're out there. Yeah. Yeah. And they're just going. Probably. Yeah. You know, we're making it up. Like but the doesn't hot spots it, doesn't it show you and really put into perspective how, I guess, common but not common these fish are. There's yeah. been hundreds, if not thousands, of boats fishing yep. at yeah. night time around those Mulloway areas for snapper since early September. Yeah. And we've just seen four in a yeah. week, but haven't seen many mm. reports, if no, any, true. before then. Let's have a look at the next one. And this was probably a random catch because we know the first two guys would have been out targeting. But Chris yeah. and Colby uh, headed out and they got a nice slapper. But also, thank you very much for the Mulloway. Yeah, yeah like, that's a good one. It's not a bad catch. The old man's there? pretty happy yeah. there. And that would have been a random catch, I would have thought. Yeah. You know, I'm sure targeting. the young bloke caught the big fish. And the yeah, yeah. So he just around. couldn't lift yeah. it. He just couldn't yeah, carry it. Yeah. yeah, no, exactly. Uh, let's keep going. Let's keep rolling with the Mulloway. But down at uh, a beautiful place in Western Port on the eastern side, land-based Spot X. Land-based? Uh, yeah, Maladin oh. Kesajik. Yeah. He landed there. Now, he came into the shop. And he had his phone with him. Now that, that fish got released, and he and his hand was shaking. That's a, yeah, yeah, his yeah. hand was shaking. He came I know, up to why Gary trying to support the guts yeah. on the yeah. fish. Look at it. But he, he, so the next day he came in and he goes, oh, <coughs> "I've just got to show you what I caught, you know, last night down at blah blah blah." And I won't give away yeah. the spots because uh, it, it's, it's it's a special thing. It's it's a special thing, and those guys that do get him really want to protect that. And I'm yeah. sorry, apologies if we offend anyone, but he came in with the, yeah, his hand shaking. He's going, "Look at my photo," you know, and. <laughs> Why wouldn't you They're be just like a that? Special fish. And to let it go is yeah. just a sensational effort. Well done. So he didn't take um, a picture on video, did he? And it was flapping, so that's why he was shaking. Didn't he? <laughs> I don't think so, Charlie. Oh, okay. but, uh, <laughs> so what a week! Four Mulloway like that out of Western, yeah. and yeah. and I think there was more. I saw Trevor and Lynette Hogan had one hanging out of the tree that had come from Western Port. Okay. Um, okay. So yeah, not just mm. the only ones caught. I think there'd be a few others mm. that went under the radar and we don't know about. But would it be on approach to wow. a moon, or have we just had a moon? Or? No, the moon's in a couple of days time. There you go. I mm. think so. Yeah, Prime time. Tomorrow, so yep. Yeah. Um, let's head up to Lake Hume now. And Thomas Pinter sent us in this photo of some very very nice golden perch. Um, it's the time for golden perch, Charlie. It like is. Like I said, the whispers. Yep came from Lake Yildon, but obviously up at uh, Lake Hume, it's a little bit warmer up there and it certainly yeah. seems to be on fire. Well, we, we probably don't, we have been actually getting reports from Lake Hume <coughs> for about the last month yep. uh, with these, with really good sized yellow belly or golden perch. Yep. So we're just sort of starting to see that in Yildon, but um, I probably haven't mentioned it because it's a bit out of area, but Hume has been fishing really, really well. Yeah. So, and, yeah. and I reckon Tom will, I know Tom quite well through my time at Tackle Cranbourne and yep. Oh, I reckon he'll feature a bit. He's got a he's got a nice little tub now with the electric on the front, and uh, yep, he'll yep. be getting amongst the these freshwater natives right throughout the summer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, lucky last, and it is trout season as well. Don't forget, and Jason Kilpatrick got this lovely one in the Latrobe River. It's a cracking fish for the That's Latrobe. A beautiful yeah. fish. Um, what a pretty area. I mean, uh, we yeah, don't talk about that area often enough. You know, right. Down Nuji and that yep. sort of places. Um, and I mean, quality fish like that. He got a few smaller ones on that day, he wrote to me, but that is just a classic of, a, of a fish. beautiful fish. Easy to access. I think yeah. that one went 1.1 1 .1 kilo. 
That's a beautiful so that's fish. A, that's a lovely that's little awesome. trout stream fish. Yep. So, um, I know the Goulburn fished very, very well today. There's someone up there mm. that uh, sent some text messages oh, through interesting. with about 20 odd rainbows today. So, nice. Um, lower Goulburn, below the. Uh, just at Thornton. Thornton, yeah. yeah so it's breakaway below the water, there. Yeah. yeah. It's nice yeah, there. So, some pretty good fish around, boys. Um, oh, yeah. yep. And I know it's snapper season. We didn't feature snapper, but those fish were just too. You can't go past two, four snapper yeah, were just too good not to feature. Them. So, yeah. If you'd like to send in a pic of your catch of the week, this is what you have to do. If you want to be like me and have your phone on TV, email your fishing pic to info at ifish.com to eat you. Talking fishing, talking fishing, nothing but fishing, talking fishing. If it's back about fishing that you want to know, then tune in, folks, because this is the show. We'll show.